Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for August. The very first card that you get is from Quan Yin, talking about care and compassion, offering a helping hand, choosing to be love, doing what's right for everyone involved. This very much feels like who you guys are in general, but at the moment, <laughs> when I tapped into your energy, this th and this card came out. It's like yes, this is how this is how it feels like you guys are, uh, as far as you know, like really always looking for the good in people, trying to do the right thing, having a lot of compassion for everybody, offering a helping hand everywhere you can, and Krishna comes in to let you know that you, we recognize this. <laughs> You're being honored and acknowledged for your efforts of compassion and caring and loving and trying to always do the right thing. Also, we have Mother Mary comes in to give you a hug. This card can have lots of meanings, but for you guys in this context, she is coming in to give you a hug. It's coming up right here with devotion and Kuan Yin. You've got a lot of love and honoring for all that you are and have been doing, uh, especially especially now uh, in, in, this, in this time where, you know, there's a lot of challenging things going on in the world and in people's lives. And it, it's, it's as if you guys are really, really making efforts to have compassion and do the right thing in the face of some challenging things that you might be seeing and hearing as well. So you're being honored for that, for your efforts, and for just who you are. You're also getting the Four of Gabriel and a time to celebrate, abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. And so this again is kind of coming up with this. It's like Gabriel is coming in to say, you know what, there's going to be some abundant rewards for you for this kind of hard work. One of the rewards f for this level of compassion and care that you guys have for yourself and for others is, you know, just being honored by spirit, loving and, and devotion from Krishna, loving from Mother Mary, uh, that kind of thing, uh, just sort of being with you. You know, know that you're being sort of hugged by Mother Mary. Feel into that. She's saying, feel that, feel into that. I am hugging you. And Krishna is honoring you for this. And there will be rewards. There will be rewards in life. This is the first card that sort of brings that into, you know, sort of down to earth here. You know, Kuan Yin, Krishna, Mother Mary. They are extremely divine beings. There are three of them that are with you, honoring you, loving on you. <laughs> for all the love and compassion that you're giving out. And then this is where it kind of comes down to earth and comes into your life experience down here. So Gabriel is coming in also to say, you know what, there's going to be rewards for you in your life because of, of all that. Some of you might not be feeling that. Some of you might be feeling like um, a bit, a bit kind of sad um, depending on what situations you might be might be going through in your life experience down here this is also she wants to come back to say this is what you're wanting you're wanting rewards and you're wanting success in life you're wanting um, you know a beautiful wonderful career and family life and you want things to go well that makes sense with this right this is what you're wanting, and they're saying, yes, this can happen. So seek out other possibilities, she's saying. Look for the magic in life. Continue to. I hear some of you going, okay, yeah, I do that. <laughs> 
continue to look for the magic in life, the positive things, and just be mindful of your own emotions when you go into that sort of sadness. If you go into a sadness over some of the things that you're seeing, where compassion and love and caring is called for, there's probably some kind of a difficult situation happening that's calling for that, you know? So be mindful if you find yourself going, you know, getting sad because of what you're seeing. And at the same time, honor that. They're saying, you know, take some deep breaths. When things, if things get really tough, some of the things you might be seeing are just really not so nice. Remember to breathe. <laughs> Remember to breathe. And meditation will be good as well. Going into meditation, uh, insights come from quiet meditation. Um, don't hesitate to get some good sleep and seek relief from the stress that you might be carrying. Um, you know, while you're okay. So this is this is like for you, for you. This kind of thing is where there's other people involved, um, events in the world. And then you're, you know, sort of sending out the energy of compassion and love and caring. And yet you see this in the world that calls for this in you. Uh, so this is when you're with other people, maybe with a friend who's having a hard time. And you're very caring and loving towards them. This is about now when you get back and have your alone time. Uh, this is where they're, they're speaking to now your alone time. Remember to breathe and to go into meditation to sort of, you know, release the stress that some of those situations might be bringing to you. Release that. We're also getting Zadkiel is saying, you know, that clear audience will be amplified a little bit. So spirit is... Um, can uh, you know give you little whispers notice the loving guidance that you hear in your mind and also from other people also some other people so be mindful of your clear audience clear audience is what you hear in your inner ears so spirit is with you and they'll be giving you some guidance as you go in some of these situations where this is called for you're getting assistance with that so one one message for you is to remember to breathe and uh, our, our sort of one path of, of messages is for you to remember to breathe, go into meditation, release the stress however you do that, however whatever way that you have discovered works best for you to do that and also to know uh, another message is that you're going to be guided. Your clear audience will be amplified so that spirit can help guide you with this. And then solutions will be coming. Solutions will be coming from your clear audience and also getting insights from meditations. Success comes um, with um, uh, self-control, patience, forgiving, and healing. So the solutions, um, but this is, okay, so this is more... This is more about solutions to, um, so it's not so much what the card says. So I just read that, but it's, they're saying, no, it's not so much about that as it just is solutions to things. So, whew, okay, the energy is really strong. Okay, so this compassion that you're having could also be affecting some of your relationships Um uh, but yeah, they said that, you know, it's, it's it, anywhere that there's any kind of struggles, it, it feels like it's not just um, your, maybe your, your love interest, it's, it could also be friendships, uh, but this feels very much any relationship, it could be work relationships, it could be strangers that you meet that are having a hard time, you guys are just awesome with this caring and compassion uh, right now in this world where so much is happening and so there'll be some solutions for you in terms of some of these situations that might come up might leave you thinking you know what can I do uh, what could be done on a bigger scale it, it, it makes the mind real sometimes with what's going on right now in the world to, to different mm, people that that 
for you guys with this emphasis in, in compassion for everybody, uh, looking for, you know, what can I do? What can I do if something happens in another country? That's just awful. And it's like, okay, some solutions can come to you through clear audience and meditation, uh, and also just sharing your compassion is is one thing that they're saying that is one of the, the solutions that they're offering is for you to just continue sending your love and compassion towards these people. We're also getting relationship harmony. It's like you guys are powerful. This level of compassion that you have is reaching people. You know, everything's energy. Everything, everything ripples out. So even if things are happening on the other side of the world, your level of caring and loving and compassion can reach people. Even if you never even know about it, never even hear about it. So just know that relationship harmony is happening, uh, not just for you, but for those that you care for. Whether it's in your world here, <laughs> in your experience, in your close experiences, but also everywhere. Okay, and so as this goes, uh, this be at home. Wombat is the animal that you got to just be at home. Um, this is talking about the feeling of home, that that sacred, peaceful feeling of feeling at home. This is also coming up to say for some of you, you have this. And this is, um, so one message is <laughs> that your home life might be wonderful. And so you may find peace just in, in being at home and embodying that, that emotion and that feeling. Uh, and they're also saying that um, it, it has to do with the world. They're talking about being at home in the world. Yeah, okay, it's connected to, it's connected to you carrying the vibration and frequency of care and loving and compassion that, that you are in the world affecting people everywhere. That's what they're saying. Be at home and know that. Know that you are home in the world. Affecting the world. And your family. Sorry about the airplane. <laughs> Okay, so back to this one, a time for change and rewards. Uh, some, some messages want to come through regarding these rewards, these rewards of abundance for what you do in your life and in the, in the world as a whole. Prosperity is arising in your career. Prosperity rising. Um, uh, uh, go ahead and take the next step. You can be optimistic because some things that you're working on can turn out the way that you expected. Some things that you have wanted to accomplish can um, work out for you uh, coming up here in August. Prosperity rising because things in your career are working out, starting to work out. So we have relationship harmony. Just in case any of you are having struggles at home, uh, harmony will be coming for you as as part of this. It's like this, this is what you're wanting. This is what Spirit wants to reward you with. Both. This is the card that's top and center. It's fundamental to your reading. That's what you're wanting is to celebrate abundant rewards in all areas of your life. And so here we go. This, in your career life, things will be happening the way that you're planning for them to happen. They'll be working out for you. Continue to do what you love. Make sure that whatever it is you're doing is absolutely what lights you up and what you love about your work. This is a time of great personal growth in your career. And uh, working with others in, in a cooperative great way. In your work, whatever it might be, some really exciting new challenges may come up for you. And she wants to come back to say, yep, any new challenges come up for you in your workspace? Uh, they, they're calling them challenges, but these could be sort of passion-driven 
Does that make sense? Things in terms of following what you love, um, you, there, you might be getting ideas about what you might like to do um, in your career in addition to what you're doing already uh, because you would just absolutely love doing it. it you'll be getting some, some really great ideas on on these challenges that you might want to create and then when you do things will work out things will work out overall keep it simple even though it might be challenging especially if it's challenging make sure that you keep it simple make sure that you love it and that you keep it simple even as powerful as it might be it feels like for some of you it's, you have, for some of you some really great ideas are coming like like really great ideas <laughs> let go of any excess that you don't need you don't you don't want any more stress there's enough in the world kind of thing put your energy into the basics keeping things simple put your energy into what you love and keeping things simple whatever you decide to do things are going to work out that's really exciting really exciting oh my gosh and then your final four cards are just like everything wonderful look at this it's your lucky day <laughs> from Ariel the ace of Ariel new resources of money time and support a change in job or promotion this change coming from this brilliant idea the change that comes from this it's your lucky day <laughs> new resources like it's gonna work out new resources help support anything you need will be coming for you we get also Lakshmi is the flow of prosperity right along with this one saying this flow of prosperity your dreams are fulfilled <laughs> you know when this many cards come out to say something like this it's like it's it's really powerful it's like everything about the energy is is it, everything about the divine is on your side with this your dreams are fulfilled the hard work leads to great success a love of the beautiful things in life the things you love the things you really love that you're really wanting dreams fulfilled <laughs> and your final card is that there's so much to be grateful for so it's as if very very quickly things your dreams will be fulfilled in relationships in your own feeling at home everywhere that you go um, financial success the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life so financial success business success a wonderful rewarding family life being at home right getting that feeling of being at home um, rich and rewarding which has got like your dreams are coming true it's your lucky day flow of prosperity five cards five cards Gemini <laughs> this is very exciting so and and all of it feels like it's coming very much as far as you know cause and effect this is really coming from who you are and and how you interact with others and how you see the world and how you interact with it this compassion and love that you have for people in this difficult time there are great rewards for you dreams fulfilled huh. so have a fantastic August you guys I love you so much until next time take really good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you soon mm -hmm.